Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of The Golden Impact. This is a golden 360 video. We miss y'all so much. You know, it was birthday season and we got our real estate license. We are a realtor, okay? Real estate agent, licensed real estate agent. So we have to do what we have to do, but we're back ready to service and provide all the answers to all the questions you have. So just to piggyback off our last episode of the overlays, this is just a quick episode to show you the design of you and give you the dimensions you've been asking for, giving the dimensions you need. Sometimes you just have to be creative in the way that you find the answer. Let us help you by showing you exactly what dimensions you may need. This is for the touch pick software. However, other softwares may have a similar dimension, um, but this is solely for the touch picks overlays. All right, let's dive right in. So first and foremost, we just want to shout out every single one of you that's been tuning in because we hit 1K, okay? 1K subscribers. So we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Let's get into it. So as you see me deleting overlays because sometimes you might duplicate an event just to keep the same settings, you know? Always work smarter, not harder. So you go into the actual event that you want to be working on. You want to check that it's all lined up the way you want it to be. Then you go right into the designer since we're talking about overlays. The first thing you're going to do in the designer field is make sure it's under the right event. So we have ours under design views to show you different design views. So with the first width, we actually went on Canva, screenshotted what TouchPick had offered us and matched it to a certain layout in Canva. So we did that for every single one of these just to see each dementia. So there you go. You see one dementia with the numbers. You see the next one, you can always zoom in, zoom out that we talked about last time, but just to show you the actual dimensions of what the overlays are. So you can screenshot this, it probably will help you, or you can type in the numbers on Canva. I'm sure there are other different editing softwares you can do that as well as you, as long as you have the actual measurements, which is what we just provided to you. Always stay organized, write what the event is for. It will help you search in the long run. It will help you print them in the long run. It will help you download them in the long run. And then you're going to download, select the pages. Now you have it listed, easily accessible, and make it a PNG. That's the clearest HD volume they have. And don't make this mistake like I do. I mean, we all make mistakes, right? Especially when we're rushing. But you see, I automatically realized that, hey, wait, that background is white. It's an overlay. It needs to be transparent. So yes, I did all, all the way, go all the way to the upload until I realized like, hey, this is not a poster. This is an overlay. So yes, go back download, find the ones you want, easily accessible, and hit that transparent background. Oh my gosh. I can't stand when we make that same error. <laughs> but you know, we're all human, right? So as it downloads, you're going to go back to the same spot, that overlay, and you can see how one has a white background and one has the clear background, the transparent background. That's the one we want. So to get rid of an overlay, you hit the minus sign and to input the overlay, you choose up, upload, click it, and then you'll see it on the chart that they give you and what it will look like. Zoom in, zoom out, and let's go ahead and do another one. So for this one, we're going to do regular video, right? Upload that one. So as long as you create the overlay in Canva with the decorations you want, on the right dimensions, download it with a transparent, then you are all set and good to go. And like we've always said, this is something that a lot of people do, so you can easily outsource or you can do it yourself because of how quick and less um, and inexpensive it is. Canva is a monthly subscription if you want to use the special features and it's definitely more than affordable. So tune in. If this was helpful, let us know if you want to see more things regarding touch picks. Subscribe, like, comment, 
and bang that bell for the next episode. We'll catch y'all real soon.